Aging skin is a natural part of human life cycle, but it does not have to be mainly caused by sun damage. The key to sun protection is to safeguard our skin against harmful sun rays by applying sunscreen as a part of daily skin routine. Thanks to sunscreen, our hero, to ensure our skin stay healthy and beautiful. Hmm, but... How about the life cycle of sunscreen itself? Have you ever wondered about it? In this video, we will be discovering about the most exciting topic which is life cycle of sunscreen. This video consists of several parts which are Introduction of sunscreen Sunscreen life cycle The impact of sunscreen to the environment and mitigation action that can take to save the environment. Now, let's start with the introduction. Types of sunscreen There are two basic types of sunscreen which known as chemical sunscreen and physical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreen protect our skin like a sponge which is it absorbs sun rays while physical sunscreen protect the skin like a shield which is reflect the sun rays. Do you know? United States Food and Drug Administration FDA stated that sunblock term is no longer be used as we cannot block 100% sun rays. That is why now it's called as sunscreen instead of sunblock. Hmm. Have you ever wondered why we need to use sunscreen? It is because sunscreen can protect our skin from UVA and UVB rays that can cause skin cancer. It can prevent our skin concern from becoming worse due to skin damage. And it also can lower the risk of getting sunburn and suntan. And for now, Let's move on to the main topic of this video, which is the life cycle of sunscreen. Life cycle of sunscreen consists of five stages which are raw material acquisition, manufacturing, distribution, usage, and lastly, end life of cycle stage. Now, let's explore one by one. First stage of sunscreen life cycle Raw material acquisition Most sunscreen use the combinations of active ingredients and natural antioxidant ingredients for specific formulation. A formulation is generally deferred towards a type of sunscreen and specific SPF rating or the needs of a specific consumer group. For example, the most popular active ingredient used in chemical sunscreen are carbon-based, which are oxybenzone and apobenzone, while the most popular active ingredient used for physical sunscreen are mineral-based, which are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. The previous active ingredients will be combined with specific natural antioxidants to produce sunscreen. An example of natural active ingredients are vitamin C and E that could be taken from fruits, rice grain oil, sesame seed oil, green tea from tea plantation, and aloe and chamomile for skin soothing and moisturize. Second stage of sunscreen life cycle, manufacturing. At this stage, sunscreen will undergo manufacturing activities such as formulation the lotion that includes the decision in making the type of sunscreen with their specific function and SPF, making the containers including their design and material use such as glass or plastic container, filling the containers, capping the containers, and lastly, preparation for shipping to consumers. Third stage of sunscreen life cycle, distribution. Distribution phase. 
those packed sunscreen from the manufacturers will be distributed to consumers through marketing activities. Distribution of sunscreen use energy and fuels for transportation and shipping. Those activities may contribute to negative impact to the environment as shipping process use fuel that release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Fourth stage of sunscreen life cycle, usage. Usage stage. Consumers demand for sunscreen as daily usage for screen protection against sun rays. Most usage of sunscreen will be applied during high-intensity sports or long exposure to the sun rays. The last stage of sunscreen life cycle and of life cycle. End of life cycle stage. Sunscreen and products such as packaging will be disposed to landfill. Some will be recycled and reused. This stage also will consume energy such as fuel for transportation of solid waste management purposes. Now, we all know that sunscreen is necessary during long day under the sun. However, why it help humans? Does it hurt other species? Let's discover the impact of sunscreen to the environment. Do you know, coral reefs are believed by many to have the highest biodiversity of any ecosystem on the planet, even more than a tropical rainforest. Occupying less than 1% of the ocean floor, coral reefs are home to more than 25% of marine life, making them the most productive and diverse marine ecosystem. Why is that important? Coral reefs, thanks to their diversity, it provides millions of people with food, medicine and protection from storms. Research shows that carbon-based chemical sunscreen ingredients such as oxybenzoin contribute to stress condition of coral reef. It called as coral bleaching. Exposure of this chemical result in death of coral's algae. These algae give corals their beautiful colors. Without them, coral turn bleach white and susceptible to disease and possibly death. Once the coral reef dies, the entire reef ecosystem is not far behind. Don't worry, we still have chance to make things right. Let's see some mitigation action that we can do to reduce the impact of sunscreen to the environment. Instead of buying chemical sunscreen that could harm the environment, it is better to choose physical sunscreen that are mineral-based and environmental-friendly ingredients. If you ever wonder how to choose the right ingredient, you can flip the bottle at the back and see under the active ingredient that contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It's simple. In conclusion, remember, small action, big impact. Taking a bit time could be worth for you and the environment. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.